Today is November 19, 2016. Welcome to the podcast, Prophecy Insights with Bro Steph. And the title of today's podcast is The Deceiver is Coming. Well, uh, the elections of uh, uh, between Hillary Clinton and Donald Trump are well behind us now. And I was thinking uh, today about what the Bible has to say about how the man of sin or the Antichrist in most Christian circles, when you say the man of sin, younger Christians don't really understand what that reference means. The Bible calls the Antichrist, the one who's going to uh, deceive the world, uh, who comes out of the revived Roman Empire, he's going to rise up, deceive everybody. Uh, the world is going to think that he's God. Well, Christians in the Christian circles know him as Antichrist, but his true title is the man of sin. So I was thinking about how he comes to power and what the Bible has to say about his rise to power and fame. Um, here's some scriptures if you want to do self-study. Uh, Daniel 7, 25. Daniel 8, 23 through 25. Daniel 9, 27. Daniel 11, 21 through 45. And Isaiah 28, 14 through 22. And of course, you can read Matthew 24, where our Lord highlights what the man of sin or the Antichrist does that starts the period we all know as the last three and a half years of Daniel's final week. Uh, the wrath of God will start when the man of sin goes into the temple of God, declares himself to be God. You can read more about that uh, in the scriptures I gave you, plus Matthew 24. But what I wanted to focus on was, back in 2008, we had Barack Obama, who was an unknown. He was a senator uh, from Chicago for, t for one and a half years. And... He ran for the presidency, and as, all, as we all know, in a landslide, he won the presidency. And back then, we were all talking about the parallels of a, a man with very little experience, very little worldly experience. Uh, the only job he ever held was that of a campaign organizer. Um, and his rise to power, how stunning it was. And uh, there were a lot of par parallels drawn, myself included, about with his rise to power, uh, God, could God be saying to us, hey, I'm bringing a man in the future that's going to come and take the world by storm, much like you saw in 2008. And uh, I thought that the Lord was giving us an example of how easy it's going to be for the Antichrist to come to power. Well, let's look at Donald Trump now. Now we have another example. And I want to preface this. Footnote in parentheses. I am not saying, I repeat, I am not saying that Donald Trump is the Antichrist. I'm not saying that at all. Okay, let's move on. So, with Trump's rise in the elections, rise to power to president-elect. Let's just examine it for a second. No political experience whatsoever. I mean, Obama had some. Trump had none. The only political experience he had at all was inner office politics that he had to manage uh, within his own corporation. That's it. As far as being a professional politician, none. Not even a, uh, not even a city councilman. 
I mean, zero. And um, I don't know about you, but on election day, as the results were coming in, um, and I think it was about almost midnight my time, California time, I was sitting on the edge of my chair and I looked at my wife and I said, if Pennsylvania or Michigan go down to the Republicans, he's our next president. And then you started seeing the blue wall start to fall. And I looked at my wife and I said, God just put this guy into office. And my wife and I looked at each other. Now, I, I will say my wife had a better handle on it probably than I did. I mean, I, I had a question mark whether or not Trump was going to be elected. My wife looked at me three months ago and said, Trump's going to be our next president. I mean, she just knew. Um, that's for another story, though, another podcast. But it, it, at any rate, it, it just was like dominoes. And, and it was very exciting to watch this miracle of God taking place in front of our very eyes. All of the pundits, all of the media said the blue wall couldn't be penetrated, that Hillary was going to pull it out. And then just one after the other, they start falling. And you could tell it was in the air. You could feel in the air that God had just performed very possibly, other than Israel becoming a nation in 1948, one of the biggest biblical miracles, a Bible-like miracle in our lifetimes, happened when Trump won the presidency. So as, as easy as it was for an unknown like Trump, and I, I should say in parentheses here, it wasn't easy for him. He had, he had, look, he had the media against him. He had the president of the United States against him. He had most of the unions against him. He had all of academia against him. Everyone did everything they could to keep him out of office. And he got in. And so now let's go back to the Antichrist. Just as an unknown, like Donald Trump, an unknown to politics, like Trump, came into office and has taken America by storm. Now put this onto a global stage. The Antichrist, the man of sin, is going to come into office in a very similar way. When he comes in and takes over the world, not a shot's going to be fired. It's not going to be done through warfare. Just read the, the scriptures I gave you in Daniel, it's done peaceably. He just comes in peaceably on a peace platform and seizes the entire globe through the pompous, deceitful words that come out of his mouth. And so I'm wondering, and I, I want to leave this open to a question to you. Uh, and if you'd like to comment, you could do it at the bottom of this audio, or, or if you're re listening to this through my blog, just go to the bottom of my blog. You can leave me a comment there. Uh, but I'd love to know what your thoughts are on this. Is God giving us yet another example of in our future, on the near horizon, when the Antichrist comes to power, it might look like what happened with Donald Trump, peaceably, miraculously, he came to power. And so, globally, the man of sin will do the same. Like to get your feedback on it. Uh, please uh, remember to keep looking up. Jesus is coming back soon. Uh, that's kind of easy to see now with everything going on around us. And uh, remember to live out your faith. And uh, if you'd like to ask Jesus Christ into your life, um, just at, at the bottom of this report, if you're on my blog, scroll down to where it says, accept Yeshua into your life. Or go to brostef.com at the bottom of that page. You can learn how to accept Christ into your life. God bless you.